In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure the LearnDash courses, lessons, topics, basically all the interior course content in LearnDash while using the Buddy Boss theme. So here you can see what a course looks like. And when you're inside a course, it's really beautiful. We have dark mode, all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to show you how to set all this up. Keep in mind, this tutorial is really aimed for people running our Buddy Boss theme. If you're just running Buddy Boss platform plugin, then it's not going to look like this. This is really a layout tutorial. If you're using some other theme, then the LearnDash content is gonna look however that theme styles it. And here we are in the LearnDash settings. I mentioned this in some other videos that BuddyBoss theme requires LearnDash 3.0 and above because LearnDash 3 has a new better template pack and that's what we've supported. So you'll wanna make sure you're using LearnDash 3 or above and that the active template pack has been set to LearnDash 3. And then we can go over to BuddyBoss theme options. And in here we head to the Learn Dash tab and we can see course single has an option for displaying the course author. So right now when we're in the single courses, we have the course author here. We can see the course author here and in here and various other places. So you might want to turn that off. You can just toggle it off. And then if I come back here, the instructor is hidden from this page. And we see it here, let me refresh, instructor's hidden. If you are the sole instructor on the whole site, it's not really that useful to display the instructor everywhere. But if you have multiple instructors, then you might wanna show it, that's really up to you. I'll put it back on for now. And then let's go play around with some more options on this page and figure out how it all gets here. So first thing I'll do is go edit this course. I can go into Learn-LMS Courses. And then I'll click Edit for this course. And I'll just show you where everything comes from. So this is the title, obviously that displays here. This is the main description, which is displaying right here. And then this is the course short description, which displays up here if added, if you delete it, it goes away. And then here, this materials tab only shows up if you add course materials. And the materials are added in the settings area, you can turn on and off course materials. So let me just turn it off. And the tab goes away. I'm gonna turn it back on. Now, one thing that's a little bit confusing here is that it's basically just an HTML box. It's not really an uploader. So I would do it like this, click add media. And let's say you had some zip file. You could insert into post and update it. And then here we get a link and if you click it, it'll download the file. So that's the way I'd recommend doing this is from your media library, inserting the zip. And you can always edit what this link says and stuff like that. And then LearnDash has a lot of other options in here for modifying things related to how the course works. I'm not gonna go through all this. You can read the LearnDash tutorials there. I'm really just showing you things that pertain to the layout here in our theme. So one thing here we have is the course content. So to edit that, you go into Builder, and we can see that this is a section. Sections are something new that were added in Learn-3. It's just a way to add a heading to break up your lessons. So these are the sections, these are the lessons. And then if we open this up, we have topics within the lessons. So this opens up and shows the topics. It's really up to you how you wanna organize this. You might not want all those hierarchies. You could just have a flat list of lessons or maybe you have topics within lessons, or maybe you have sections breaking up lessons. It's really up to you. The advantage of using sections is that it's just a heading. So you could have headings with lessons. If you use lessons and topics, the lessons and topics are both pieces of content that need to be completed. So that's kind of the difference. The flat hierarchy of sections and lessons alone is kind of the way that I think most people are used to it, like Udemy and a lot of those popular course sites use that. So it's kind of up to you how you want to organize that in your courses, but our layout will accommodate all of them. And in here too, you can see that's the section, lesson and topics. And if you delete some of these, it will organize properly. And then moving on to here, this is what we refer to as the course price box. So in here, when I go back to edit the course, we have our cover photo, which is added here. And then we have our featured image, 
and the featured image is added in here. We also have the option to add a preview video. So let me just grab a video URL and paste that here and update. And now when I refresh this, it adds this preview this course button. And if I click that, it'll pull up the video. So this is really cool for marketing your courses. This is a feature that we've added. It doesn't come with LearnDash out of the box. And then here in our price box, you can see we've added this stuff too. So we show how many lessons, topics, quizzes the course has. And then there's this button to start the course. And this stuff is all conditional based on the status of the course. If you've already taken some of the course, you get a continue button here. Let me show you that. So this is the course. I'm going to mark this first lesson complete. So now I've made some progress. If I come back here, now it shows in progress and I can click continue. And it's gonna take me basically right where I left off. And let's go back here. There's some other statuses here as well. For example, if I have not yet enrolled in the course, there'll be a button telling me to enroll. And if you set a price to the course in LearnDash, it will display the price here as well. Moving back to the interior of the course, we can see that all the content shows here, our course progress, a link to go back to the course homepage. And here's our pagination to move between the lessons and topics. There are a few little options here I'll show you. So one is dark mode at any time the user can click dark mode and then they get this nice viewing experience in the LearnDash area of the site. If they click that when they paginate through, the dark mode maintains everywhere throughout LearnDash. This is great if the student is trying to learn in a dark environment and they want to spend hours watching your videos and reading your stuff, their eyes don't get tired. And then we also have this full screen viewing experience. And they can always come here and access their buddy panel. And I'll show you one more option here is if I go back into LearnDash settings, I can set it to focus mode and I'll click save. And we've added our own little interpretation of focus mode. When we come back here and refresh, it's going to hide all the content from the title bar while you're in focus mode. So if you have a logo and all these links and stuff and you don't want to distract them, you can set to focus mode and it's just a very clean, minimal header. And they can even do this and like really focus in on their course content.